cart closes and all bets are off, that's called ethical bribery. So we're gonna deliver some content to keep you on. I'm gonna give you something very valuable, 23 persuasive selling sentences that you can seed whatever it is you're selling from the stage, virtual stage and physical stage. I have, you're not gonna get it laminated, you'll get it online and there's no opt-in required. That's if you stay for 45 minutes, okay? So that's a bribe there. The other bribe is we're gonna make a special offer, I am, to make sure that you continue education with Pete Vargas because no one and no one on the planet can do and teach the way he does for the one hour launch, which I'm feeling responsible about as well as, well as the launch that's happening right now because about two years ago, I pushed him to do it. And I hope he still is my friend afterwards because <laughs> launches are very, very difficult. They can be disappointing. Uh, all kinds of sine wave curves are happening, but let me be clear, a pre-webinar means we are ready for you to say yes. We are ready for you to buy. And I know that people hate to be sold, but they love to buy. My friend Jeffrey Gittimer has said that. So during this session, you're gonna get three steps to reliably grow your business. Now this word reliably, what does reliability mean? It's the ability to rely on it again and again and again. And there's one way to do that, whether you have stage fright or not, whether you have a message or not, and that's getting on many different stages. Now, um, I have said on a specific uh, web page, and I'll show you that page right now. I'm, I'm going to share it with you. And it looks like this, and it's how you came in. It says, revealed three steps to reliably grow to six to seven figure business using stages. We'll talk about what a stage is why a stage is important, how you can grow your business with a stage. But here is a quote of mine. I believe Pete is the greatest trainer the world has never known yet on how to capitalize on not one, which I've used, speak to sell, not two, not three, not four, but five different stages. I'm gonna introduce a sixth stage where I've made a quarter million dollars a year and other people have gotten the people in the room and I haven't sold anything. I've been a master of ceremonies. And that's another ethical bribe if you say yes to Pete tonight. Mm -hmm. And during this presentation, you'll get 15 key ingre ingredients of a powerful signature talk and the unstoppable stage campaign, the exact system that Pete has used to book over 25,000 stages. That is not a typo and the ultimate, uh, ultimate stage guide index, thousands of stages you can get access to. And all of this is about ethical bribery in order for you to say yes, because the clock is ticking, there is a countdown timer. So three steps to reliably grow, grow your business, meaning you can go back to it again and again. Nothing is as intimate as being on stage. This is not as intimate as being on stage. You can leave us right now. This is one-to-one. -one. On the stage is one-to-many. I'm talking to one person at a time, that's second person. Hi, how are you? That's one-to-one. -one. You're in a separate place, maybe on your mobile phone, maybe you're at home, maybe in your office. You can leave at any time and you wouldn't feel bad about it. But if you're in the middle of an audience, you would feel bad, even if you didn't like the speaker, to get up and, and leave because people would be watching you. And so that's one-to-many and that's why a stage is so intimate. So I'm gonna be talking about the big, money stages most speakers still ignore. And if you don't think of yourself as a speaker, well, I have news for you. If you can fog up a mirror, then you're a speaker. If you have children, you're a speaker. If you have a spouse, you're a speaker. If you were divorced, you're a speaker. If you interact with anyone, whether in the written word, in the spoken word, or in the visual word, like we're doing right now, you're a speaker. You may not Think of yourself as a professional speaker, but you can be, and it's a lot easier than you think. And it's not about status, and it's not about money. It's about your legacy and, and making a difference. So I want to introduce Pete Vargas. You've probably seen him before if you've been with me. But Pete, um, I'd like you to give maybe 300 seconds on why you're here and why this is so relevant to those watching. Yeah, so today in an online world, in a busy online world, it's never been harder to get people's attention. And what I have a reoccurring theme in my life of experiencing in my life 
is the fact that stages are the fastest way to get people's attention and simultaneously make an impact and by the way, grow your business. And I had four, I'm gonna, that should be Alex. Daniel, bring me some of those North cards. I had four, this is important, experiences where I saw the power of stages and speaking and I had these epiphanies, Alex. And what tonight is all about is the fifth one, which is the crowd that's watching right now. My first epiphany of a speaker is when I came to live with my grandmother and I was 11 or 12 years old. And my dad, I just came out of an abusive relationship with my dad. My grandmother said, you're not, you're not, you're not going to be in his life anymore. I'm taking you in. And I got introduced to these six or seven speakers. And those six or seven speakers at church or on TV or at my school changed the man I was at 11, 12, 13 years old. My faith, my mindset, my finances, it helped me see something differently. Then you fast forward, I get done with college, and I think I'm going to go do a corporate job. And the second epiphany of stages is I come home to Hereford, Texas, and I take over as youth pastor in Hereford, Texas. And I don't know why I did it. It was crazy. It was like, why are you doing this? And I, my pastor's like, I say, I have no theology training, no Bible training, nothing. Why are you coming over? Why, why would you want me? He said, because I know that you'll come love on kids. And Alex, I think it's important to show this diagram because my second epiphany of the speaker was when I came home and I took over, over as youth pastor and I came home and the, the, my first Wednesday night, these three girls were the only three girls in the actual room. And I thought, wow, the pastor told me there's going to be 30 kids here. And there's three pastors are notorious for not, you know, saying the right thing sometimes, not all of them, but here's what happened. I said, I'm going to bring speakers in. And I brought speakers in and I got these girls to buy into stages. I'm like, if we can bring these powerful speakers, you three are going to help me build this youth group. And they said, okay, we're buying in. And tonight I'm telling you, if you buy into what Alex and I are about to teach you, four years later, our youth group grew from three kids to 800 kids. It was even featured there in the Hereford brand, one of the biggest newspapers out there. No, you've never heard of it. But here's the beautiful thing. Stages did all of that. Bringing in speakers did all of that. That was my second epiphany of like, wow, I just grew my youth group in a way that nobody else is growing their youth group. And then a lot of you know the story. This man came and spoke, changed my dad's life. My dad heard him speak. This guy's daughter was the first girl killed at Columbine. He heard my, he, my dad heard him speak. And it's what prompted my dad to say, I'm sorry when I was 23 years old and tell me he's sorry for what he did to me as a little kid and ask me for a second chance. My third epiphany of a speaker, but that's not where it ends. The fourth epiphany of a speaker was me calling him. I'm all like one hour on a stage, did something with my dad and I that counseling and church and his seven siblings for a decade couldn't do. That's the power of one hour on a stage. And then the fourth epiphany came that this man wanted to get his message out to the world in a noisy, busy world. He was trying everything and he couldn't figure it out. He couldn't figure out how to get his message out into the world. He was struggling and he, he just so happened to make an impact on the wrong person's life. Because when you positively impact my life, I've got your back, like period. And I said, Daryl, I'm going to figure out the system to get your message out to the world, but I need you to know it's going to be stages. And I was biting my nails, kind of like I'm biting my nails right now on the launch. I'm like, crap. And if I, if I got him on this stage and my method doesn't work, the very first stage I got him on, Alex, he had done $52,000 in 2002, or $150,000 in 2002, and he went down to $52,000 in 2003. And I was like, I think stages can change it for him. It changed me as a kid. It changed my youth group. It changed my dad. Now can it change his organization and business? I got him on the first stage, Corpus Christi, Pam Faulkner, called the meeting planner. I convinced her to hire him. She paid him $3,000 to be there. My first experience of a paid keynote stage. And he spoke and 450 people handed in their information saying, hey, can you tell me more about your programs that you bring in the schools? Because he wanted to change the school system. And within two weeks, 50, 60, 70 new customers at three or $4,000 he five times his revenues from the previous 12 months. Mm. My fourth epiphany that this thing works. And then my fifth epiphany is the thousands of students that I've been able to serve since that day. Seen stages grow their business faster and they were trying a lot of other things and all of a sudden stages do it. 
five epiphanies and everybody on this call falls into that fifth bucket. I'm dedicated to helping people use stages to grow their missions and their businesses and organizations forever. Now, if you're overseas and English is not your primary language, epiphany really means an aha or um, a discovery that you didn't expect, an unexpected discovery, epiphany. It's a great word. You can Google it. Those of you who are in North America, I don't, I don't mean to be patronizing, but we have a lot of people overseas. Now, because you're still here, I think you made it through the cut. So turn off your mobile phone, turn off Facebook, get rid of email, anything that's gonna distract you, stay with us because I want this event, what we're doing right now to be one of the top 10 most important events that trigger a new direction in your professional life, even if you're doing well already. Now, one of the things that people do when they want to speak on stage is they want to become a personality, and that's okay. Uh, many people that you can think of, I won't drop any names, I have some friends who do it for the sake of personality. The other reason, in my view, is to do it for profit, and that's why I do it personality and status can't feed my kids, right? But profit can, and I can make a bigger difference in other people's lives because by contributing and by donating and tithing, we can generate a lot more value for other people. So whether you have a business or you have an organization or a ministry, if you fall into any three of those buckets, if you're just starting out, or if you've, you've tried to create stages as a profitable uh, growth strategy and it hasn't worked, or you're doing it now and you'd like to scale it, meaning duplicate yourself, or you do it professionally like I do, but you only do one of the five or two of the five, I'm adding a sixth one. I mean, think of that arrogance, right? I mean, Pete's been doing it 25,000 times and I'm gonna add a sixth one, which I can prove is very, very special. So I wanna start with obliterating the obstacles that get in the way. And then I'll ask Pete about the three steps to grow any business through stages. So let's look at obstacle number one, okay? Money. Now, to get continuing education requires an invest investment. And people look at it in the form of, let's say a cost or a price, right? I think they're different. Um, what's it costing you not to make stages your number one growth strategy, that cost will continue. The price of the one hour launch, you only pay once. In fact, you can even finance it over many, many months. So price is an episodic thing, it's a transaction, whereas the cost is ongoing if you don't make a decision. So it's, I don't think it's ever about the money, it's about the return on investment that you believe you'll get and you'll get, there's a guarantee, you'll know where to go to take action and you'll see that later on. We're not ready to give that to you yet. You may have already seen it. The second thing is time. Now, unless you make it a priority, everyone has 86,400 seconds a day, 1,440 minutes um, a day, 168 hours a week, 52 weeks out of the year. Everyone from Warren Buffett to Oprah Winfrey, to JK Rowling of the Harry Potter books to uh, Steve Jobs had that. Now he has all the time in the world. Um, Bill Gates, uh, Elon Musk, they all have the same time. You can't manage time. It's your actions that you manage. So unless you're willing to make it a priority and stop chasing the bright, shiny objects, then forget about this because you're only going to play the blame game if you end up saying yes. Yeah. So the time is the other obstacle. Third is your skill level or ability. You don't think that you have the ability or skill to do it. Well, if you don't think you have that skill, that's the best reason to be here because that's what you will learn, not only to have the skill to get on stage, but know what to deliver and how to deliver so you don't go in the wrong direction enthusiastically. And then relevance is another obstacle. Is this relevant to your business? Yes, you can be a manufacturer, you can carve wooden bears in San Anselmo, which is right near where I'm sitting. You can be a software developer. You can uh, create jigsaw puzzles. You can be a hobbyist. You can be an author. It doesn't matter. Speaking is a way for you to connect heart to heart. And I guess the fifth obstacle, and there's many others, is fear. And you know what? We can't help you with that one. We need your help. We need your assistance because you're going to come up with dozens of reasons why this won't work. And unless we make your top 10 as a priority, there's no chance. So we're not going to try to convince you. 
we can't sell you. We can only put you in the position to say yes and buy. So I want you to obliterate those obstacles because if they're in the way, then you're looking through a lens of skepticism. You're looking through a lens of the susceptibility of saying no, and you're putting all the pressure on Pete. The pressure is on you. The burden of truth is on you. So I want to be crystal clear. I'm not doing any takeaway right now. I'll do that later, but not right now. Make sure you know why you're here. So Pete, you can address what I just said if you want, but let's talk about the three steps because I want to give them what they were promised. Yeah, I think that's a really important thing. So I'm going to talk about the three steps and they just so all happen to start with S's too. So the three steps are important. And I'm going to talk about the three steps that I believe will be transformational for you in 2019 as you begin to take action. And the first one revolves. I heard somebody say, man, you didn't mince words. You got to the point. Every word mattered. Every word counted. Somebody just said that. Um, Grant said that. Wow, Pete. Great opening, Pete. Not a single wasted word. That's because the power of your story in a signature talk is so important. The signature talk is the greatest marketing tool that you have in your toolbox. And if you can begin to learn how to design your signature talk in such a powerful way, and all of a sudden um, you can use that in one-to-one -one conversations and sales conversations, but you can use it on a podcast. You can use it on a live stream. You can use it on a webinar. You can use it on a physical stage. You can use it on a digital stage. But a lot of you right now aren't, aren't, don't, do not have a dialed in signature talk. And be, to be able to have a signature talk where you can use that to attract many people into your business and have people want to go deeper with you is so important. And so I'm talking to a gentleman last night who, who Alex and I both know, and the kid is a phenomenon. He's built an eight figure business internationally. And he said, Pete, I did it with one signature talk. And I was like, that's interesting, P, because his name starts with P and we won't say his name. But I was like, I've also built a multiple seven figure business with one signature talk. And so to me, like one of the most important things that you want to do as you're designing your business is you want to build a signature talk. And I want to give you the 300 second version of what that means to build a signature talk. And so I want to be able to show that to you really quickly here. And I want to be able to help you understand that you probably fall into a few buckets here too, as you're building this. And so we have a thing called the story break framework. Daniel, you can see my screen or you can't, not yet. Okay, now you can. So we have this thing called the story break framework. And we say, this is a signature talk that brings together the, uh, the, the best of both worlds. What is the best of both worlds? A lot of people have made a lot of money in the speak to sell world. And we're going to talk about the five stages. But what is taught there is the fact that it has to be very much driven towards the sale. Like a lot of people teach that. I love Alex's methodology because he's a lot different than a lot of people that I've taught. But yesterday, one of the biggest internet marketers out there said, I love how Pete brings together the sales component and the value component and teaching component and couples it into a framework. And that's what this framework is. First piece of the framework We've never been missing human connection more than we are right now in this world. No matter, we have people from India and all across the world. First piece of the framework says, let's connect with their hearts. Let's connect with their hearts. So that opening piece is all about human connection. The second piece where the old days said, show them how extraordinary you are. People actually get turned off by that now. They want to see how ordinary you are and that you've walked in their shoes before. And then see how extraordinary you are. And now you've presented the gap to them in their life, in their mindset, in their business, in their ministry, in their health, in their wellness, in their finances, in their digital marketing. First time I heard Ryan Dice, he was just old ordinary. He'd been where I was, but oh, I've done this. And I'm like, I wanna know what you've done to get there because you used to be where I'm at. That's the second piece that you wanna do in this opening heart. And the third piece, which people love and not a lot of people teach, is show them your big why and make sure the big why that they can find themselves in that. My big why is to help people get on a million stages by 2027. And so when I present that early on, people find themselves in that big why. That's the first piece of this story break framework. The second piece has to do with the head. This is simple. This is the easiest part. This is where 70% of everything is done and you get to teach the gap of moving from ordinary to extraordinary. And you get to teach that in a powerful way. And while you're teaching that, the key 
to getting sales and not feeling like you have to sell on the back end for 48 minutes and 73 seconds. And there's not even 73 seconds in a minute. So I don't know why I said that, but the key to making sure you don't have to sell on the back end, like Nicholas Kuzmich was doing and felt like I hate this is this section while you're teaching the gap between ordinary and extraordinary is embedding real life stories and case studies and how people engaged with you. Well, I was working with Nicholas Kuzmich and he didn't want to sell. He didn't want to feel salesy, slimy or sleazy on stage. And he felt that way. And it showed in his numbers because he stepped back and he got so timid. And when he learned how to begin to do this part in the, in the head section, it changed everything. And so it's like beginning to embed case studies and stories. But the goal here is literally to show them the roadmap to move to extraordinary in their life. And then there's a call to action. Now, people don't realize this, but I want you to know there's two calls to action. You're either collecting order forms or you're collecting names. If you can sell, you're collecting order forms. If you can't, you're collecting names, meaning their contact information. And so you've got to have a tactical call to action. And there's a whole science and art behind this that we'll be going through. But you want, this is the piece that people feel timid on. And it's the call to action. You've opened up their hearts. Their minds heard what it takes to move from here to here. And now you're just calling them to action. Hey, you can go do this on your own. Or you can do it with me. <laughs> That's, I mean, it's really that simple. I spoke at an event in January. And we'll talk about some of the results of that here in a minute. And the, the owner of a billion dollar company came up to me. And he said, do you realize why you had the success on the stage that you did? And by the way, they paid me $10,000 to be there. He said, because when people were done with your presentation, they knew the roadmap of where to get to on stages and they had to make a decision. Am I going to do it with him or am I going to try to figure it out on my own? And that's the key. But here's the piece that's different about me. I love to bring it full circle and close with the heart. I do. I love to have a story that drives an emotion that reinforces everything that I just taught them, because then it will show the power of what I just taught them. So there's three types of people on here. There's some of you on here right now that, um, you know, you're like Jill Stanton. Like you're like Jill Stanton. I saw Jill Stanton a year ago and she said, I'm sitting next to her and she's a powerhouse in a one-on-one -on -one conversation, just like a lot of you. And she had never spoke. And I said, are you on stages? And she's like, no way. I'll never be on a stage. I was like, why? She's like, because I'm so afraid to speak. I am afraid to speak. I said, Jill, there's not a lot of difference between what you just did in that one-on-one -on -one conversation. And all you need is one great talk. She's like, really? And she used that framework that I just taught all of you. Game changer. She's dominating stages. TNC just had her speak on like a big stage of theirs. Like she, a year ago, no stage. Today, a stage. But then there's some of you out there that like, man, I don't want to feel salesy. I have experienced people, but I want to convert and I don't want to feel like that slick Rick that's that, you know, all of us know him. All of us have seen her or him. And that's what Nicholas Kuzmich felt like. Nicholas Kuzmich said, I was following all this old school methodology and I'd get to the close and I'd be in the close for a long time and I just didn't feel right. And he said, I then began to implement the story break framework. And I started embedding case studies of how people engage with me while I was teaching. And it felt so natural because I was just sharing a story. Stories change the world, by the way. And I was just sharing the story of someone and how, I, how they had done that piece that I taught. And Nicholas literally went from one stage where he sold a $1,000 product to a crowd and 5% conversion of just beginning to embed case studies and stories during the teaching part. And he closed 30, not six, 37% on a stage of doctors. And he said, I am 10,000 times more confident to sell on a stage. How do I put a price on that? And by the way, this is a guy that had done plenty of speaking. He was a pastor. Alex has heard him. He's dynamic, but he wasn't converting, which means he was leaving a lot of money on the table. And then there's some of you out there like Alex Mendozian. You are just, you, you, you absolutely control the stage and you, you're really good. And that's like my friend Shanda. My friend Shanda said, we took content I was already good at and created a presentation that I could have not without you. 
and you had an uncanny way of putting sparkle on a presentation that converts, I really appreciate it. And so Shanda's conversions went up based on the story braid framework because we had her become like a little bit more powerful on that opening heart and that closing heart. And she was already really good. And so it doesn't matter where you're at. Like it doesn't matter where you're at. Like if you're brand new and you're like, man, I'm scared or you don't want to feel salesy or you're already doing good. Like the thing I'd really encourage you to do is this is the opening S. This is the opening S is story and your signature talk. And not only will it become the greatest marketing tool you have in your business, Warren Buffett said, Warren Buffett avoided making an investment into a course that could have changed his life because he was afraid to speak. People don't know a lot. A lot of people don't know the story. And then he actually invested into that course. And that's where this quote came out of. He said, you can improve your value, your value, not mine, your value by 50% just from speaking. And so Alex, I'd love to know how well people feel like in the chat box, how well do you feel like you're actually delivering a talk right now because it's the greatest marketing tool that you have? Well, a, a key question is, have you ever been on a stage yeah. with an intention? Okay, that's the first question. It's a yes or no. Yep. And if it's a yes, you, you probably feel like um, what we're saying right now may be a little beneath your skill set, but it's not. Once you come in with a beginner's mind, have you ever been on a stage with an intention? You're on stage every day. You go into an elevator, you're on stage. You have an elevator speech possibility. You go into a seminar or workshop, you're on stage. You just aren't elevated, but you're on stage with everyone else. Even when you're sitting, you're on stage. I'm on stage right now with Pete on the virtual stage. So have you ever been on a physical stage with an intention, yes or no? Let's see it. And here's the reason why. If we get a lot of no's, then that, imp that implicates and that implies that we have people who are watching at this moment. This will continue for the next two days and then end. All bets are off at 11.59 Pacific time on Friday, November 2nd. And if you're in Australia, that's on Saturday. So you're very lucky, including Asia and New Zealand. But the key is, if you've never been on stage, just say, okay, have, I, have you ever been on stage? No. Have you been on stage with an intention? Yes. That's question number one. All right. Question number two. Are stages a growth strategy for you? Do you do it for profit or personality? So yes or no, are stages a growth strategy for you? I don't want to go multiple choice because that'll be confusing. Yes or no, and be honest. Now, if it's a growth strategy, then we can, well, Pete can show you how to make it even a bigger growth strategy. I'm going to spend a couple of days with him in person. It's a $10,000 intensive later this month to be in person. That's not what is being offered here. Um, what is being offered here is something completely different. And we're not ready to offer it to you unless you've seen it. Um, if you haven't, if you haven't um, made stages a growth strategy, then we don't want to depress you, but you're missing out. And there's a huge cost of inaction there. There's a COI component to that that Pete can talk about. Pete, you want to add to that before you go to the second S? No, man, that's, be that's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. And remember, an elevator speech is a stage, right? Um, if you're sitting next to someone at an event, that's a stage. If you're at a mastermind, you spent thousands of dollars um, to be in every year, that's a stage. The key to conversion, meaning taking someone at a lower level of intimacy with you to a higher level, which usually translates into profit and relationship. Um, think about the most intimate relationships, whether it's marriage or, or a stranger turning into your best friend. I mean, your best friend today was once a stranger who's not a family member. That's because you had an intention. Well, what if you had a structure to accelerate the, the, the gap that you have right now between getting on stage with people that you don't even know, whether it's an association or um, a, a mastermind group or a workshop or even an event, okay? And getting people to say yes and giving you their mobile number, which they will open and read, which Pete can teach you. And the, you get the majority of the room without a table rush going to the back, which is a, what I do. And that's the hardest thing in the world, speak to sell. 
the, the biggest challenge that people have in my experience over 25 years, and I haven't been on 25,000 stages, but I've been on 2,500. And if you include virtual, I've been on 7,500 over the course of 30 years. What I know is this, you only need one signature speech. You don't need many. You're not speaking to a grandstand of people just sitting there. You're gonna get bored of your speech before anyone else does. You're speaking to a parade of people walking by and they're gonna notice you. And that is the secret to a signature speech. You just need to structure one, not many. I know that may offend some people. I know people who give a different speech every single time from the National Speakers Association. But one of the most successful speakers I know, mutual friends of ours, uh, for, mutual friend of ours, uh, Lisa Sasevich, she does the speak to sell model. In fact, she has a product. She has one signature speech. My biggest mistake I've made over the years is having many signature speeches. So Alex, what do you stand for? Well, I'm gonna stand for something when I go to Pete's intensive and pay five times as much <laughs> as anyone watching this because it's gonna be in person. And ostensibly you get the same thing only there's more hands-on involvement and you can get that as well. But remember one, structuring one is a lot easier than structuring many. Pete, back to you. Yeah, so the, you know, the second piece of this is okay, we're great. And I'm actually gonna do this differently than I've done because I think it's important. I think you set it up very well, but there's this second component and it's like, okay, Pete, I'm really, really great on stage right now. Okay, you've taught me how to be great and you've really helped me understand that, but all right, cool. Let's go get on a stage then. And so there's this idea of the second thing, which falls, and I am not sharing in my game. You're okay. keeping us in suspense. That's the second S, suspense. It's, it's called suspense. There we go. And so there's this second piece right here that's the winning stages. And so the second piece to this is all about the stages. And so I wanna make sure that you actually get on a stage. Now that you have a talk that actually helps you win the stage, what I wanna condense is, I want to take away 10,000 hours of time. There's this person called the meeting planner and they control the stage and they control the stage and they're the ones who have direct control of the stage. And I've spent 10,000 hours on the phone with them. So you don't have to, and I'm going to condense everything down to a couple of things. They want to know you can prop solve a problem for their audience that their audience wants to know about. And some of them also want to know that you can convert half of them actually Three quarters, three fifths of them don't care if you can convert. They just want to know that you can solve a problem. A couple of the different types of stages care about conversion and that you're relevant to that because if it's not relevant, then you can't convert easily. So here's the thing. We booked some of the biggest stages on the planet, which is awesome. And what I want you to know is there's five revenue generating stages. And Alex is going to talk about the six today, which I love. But they're regardless of what you're doing, you are scaling that stage. We're, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But there's five revenue generating stages. There's the paid to speak stage where you actually get paid a keynote. I was on a keynote stage with Michael Phelps. He got paid $150,000. Howie Mandel got paid $150,000, I'm sure. I don't know what Howie got paid. And I got paid $10,000. But I want, I want you to see, I'll come back to that story. I'm going to open loop that story. But that's a paid to speak stage. There's a speak to sell stage, which for 25 years, Alex has probably done close to a million dollars a year on the speak to sell stage. There's the free stage. That means you can't make an offer. They're not going to pay you, but they're going to give you the opportunity to collect people's names by giving away a free gift most of the time. There's the sponsored stage. This is like what I just did at our friend JJ Virgin's event. I sponsored the stage. I paid $20,000, $25,000 to be one of our major sponsors, and I got to make an offer and keep 100% of the revenues. And we did, I don't know, quarter of a million dollars in, from one stage. And then there's your own event. And when people can begin to understand that there's five major stages, and I like to call this the business model of speaking. There's five, and it's called the business model of speaking. Because when you begin to diversify in these, I have all five of them and all five of them right now bring in hundreds of thousands at least in each category. And there's, there's two or three that bring in millions of dollars for us today. And so that's why it's diversified. It's like my own events. Cool. Big one for us. Sponsor. Big one for us. Um, it'd probably be a tie between 
uh, paid to speak and speak, uh, speak to sell. So we are diversified. But the first thing is like, get one of these dialed in. And if you get our, I mean, if you decide to get our help, we're going to help you with all of them. But then you have the mediums, you have the mediums that exist. You have eight different online stages you can be on. And a lot of you from across the world might be like, why does that matter? I'll tell you why that matters. Like there are eight different, this is an online stage tonight. And here's what my good Pat, my good friend, Pat Flynn said, he said, Pete, when people come on my podcast, I call it the Pat Flynn effect because it grows their business and I know it. And then there's a guy over here, his name's Lance and live stream Lance is what I call him. He said, I don't have a lot of people on my live streams, but when I do, they become bestsellers. He had one guy who became a bestseller. Literally, I went live with him and it was like, what? There's 10,000 people on here immediately. And so there's this power in online stages, but there's also this power in offline stages. And offline stages comboed with online stages is game changer for your business. It's just game changer. Because here's the power of these offline stages that exist is that there is an element, a deeper element of human connection that you can't get on an online stage. You can, I mean, we've had people, I'm so grateful, like 98% of the people have stayed with us tonight because we're providing value. But here's the thing, the power of an offline stage, they're, they're pretty much locked in a room. And if you do a good job of presenting, they're gonna consume 60 minutes of content in 60 minutes. You know how long it takes to get 60 minutes of content consumed online nowadays? It could take six or 12 months. But in an offline stage, it's one hour, hence the one hour launch. And so here's what I want people to know all across the world. There are stages everywhere. They're everywhere. They're in your backyard. They're in your, they're in your, in your nation or in your state or your province or whatever it's called in your country. They're everywhere. And people always ask the question, teach us how to find them. Alex had me change this word from research to gold mining. Alex is responsible for a little bit of my lingo in my, in my, in my one hour launch workshop. And this is one of those because research people get like, Oh, I don't want to research. I don't want to talk about this. This is one of the gifts we're giving to you. It's 47 pages of stages of thousands of stages all across the world. So we don't need to teach you how to research, but I want to give you the fundamental thing of what it takes to win those. I can give you this list and you're not going to know what to do with it. And I do. And this is what I do. I love to win stages, Alex. Like I love it. And you know it, like, you know how much I love to win stages. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Come on, I can never give it up. Wherever you're at, get your hands up with me. Everybody hands go away. Yes, that song is, says, all I do is win. And when it comes to stages, that's me. There's a, a proclaimed stage that's saying it's going to be the biggest stage in America next year. And this campaign won that stage yesterday, yesterday. They're saying there's gonna be over 30,000 people at this stage and Alex probably can probably know which one that is. And what this stage does, what this campaign does, and Alex, by the way, is coming out for two days to get this whole thing built in his business. $10,000, he's coming out making a major investment and we're building it. But here's the thing, there is this meeting planner and they're saying, I want you on my stage, but you've got to show me that you can solve a problem for me. And these are the five mediums that solve the problem for the meeting planner. Whether you, whether you feel comfortable doing that through mail or phone or email or social media or video email, whatever it is that you feel, these are the five mediums that encompass this campaign right here. And all I want you to do is like, wow, you've used those five mediums in that campaign. Yes, and I don't want you to try to, try to do all of this because you. You can't do it on your own. Like this is a big baby. That's why Alex will have this whole thing built out in two days. But you can also participate in getting a predictable campaign to begin to win stages for you. Because when you can solve the problem of the meeting planner, you win Michael Phelps' mom stage. That's where I started. We'll talk about Michael Phelps' stage in a minute. But Michael Phelps' mom has a small local stage with simply 100 people. That's it. 100 people. Nothing big, but I reached out via video email and I solved the problem for her. And one week later, she booked us on her stage, or should I say our client on the stage? 
And so listen, once again, there's a lot of people on here. And I think about Molly, like Molly's like, dang, I've never been on stages. She's a financial advisor. Why would a financial advisor want to be on stages? Because they want to be in front of more doctors and attorneys and medical professionals and successful CEOs. And she started taking that campaign. And she was sitting in your, when you, in your seat and she took that campaign and she's like, Pete, this works. I'm booking one to two stages a week. I can't keep up with the demand. Or a lot of you that have tried so much, so much, or you're trying to, or you're like, man, Pete, I'm trying to get out of my job. Look at the title of this woman, Karen. She worked for Microsoft as the chief internal security officer. She had a big salary, but she was ready to take her own message out into the world. And she said, Pete, I wanted to replace my husband and I's full-time income. And when I heard this teaching and I became a student of yours, she said, I knew I could do it. And she used stages in the lat and literally this year, this is this year in six months to replace her income, replace her income. And Alex and I have a friend that we know for all of you advanced speakers out there, or maybe you're a big keynote speaker. John Rulin's a big keynote speaker. He's wrote the book Giftology. He said, I'm, I was getting 20 to $25,000 a talk. I was doing it right. And then he started to understand this methodology of stages in a way that he didn't understand it. And he spent a lot of money invested in us. And he said, as a result, I've lost tens of millions of dollars by not doing stages correctly, but not anymore. And so Alex, the thing I want people to see today is there's a huge opportunity with stages and they're the fastest way to grow your business. And I'll show them in a minute that they're the fastest way to grow your business. But it starts by figuring out what your business model is and then making sure starts with your business model over here and then moves to which mediums do you want to be on and then make sure that you have a campaign to win those stages. A couple of things, Pete. Now, as I'm listening and no matter what level I'm at, I'm hearing success stories. And the first thing I think of, if I don't know you, in looking at a result, at looking at an outcome is like, that's great, Pete. Good on you, as the Aussies say. <laughs> but let me tell you something. Wherever you are right now, what you're not seeing is the painstaking evolution to get to that result. And the pain of not knowing what direction to go. The pain of embarrassing yourself on stage. The pain of being told you will never come back again. The pain of having thousands of people watching you on stage and only eight people saying yes to you. That happened to me in London. Imagine the pain that you continue to have, which we call cost, right? Versus the pain of one little cut, one payment, or maybe financing that one payment and then getting to that outcome faster, better and easier with the GPS system that's in place. Because the difference is, if you do it on your own, if you wanna do it, and if you're here, it's because you're thinking about doing it. You're thinking about exploring doing it. Otherwise you're wasting your time. But the difference is what Pete has taught me, and that's why he's my teacher, is if you have a jigsaw puzzle, the jigsaw puzzle once was once a cardboard picture and these steel, uh, blades came down and cut the jigsaw puzzle into 2,500 pieces. And then they mix those up and they put it in the box. Now, what do you do to put that puzzle together quickly? Well, if you're smart and if you've dialed in how to do jigsaw puzzles, like I did as a kid, I take the cover of the box, which has the, the final image, kind of like a recipe, which has all the ingredients. And then you got the cake on the other side, and I never make the cake exactly the way it looks, but that's a different story, right? So you have the jigsaw puzzle, you have the final picture, and then you work on the corners, and then you try to match all the colors and the little elements until it starts to accelerate. When you have 50% of it done, it becomes a lot easier. Now that's if you're doing it on your own and you have an image that you want. That's if you're lucky enough to have an image and a vision. What Pete does is he has people who know what that jigsaw puzzle is gonna look like because they put it together so many times and his team and he are helping you put it together so that you now have 10 hands instead of just two. 
And that's the analogy I want you to think about. Yes, there are pieces. Yes, the steel blades have come down and, and uh, made them uh, in multiple pieces inside a box. Yes, you have a vision, but imagine if you had five times as many hands as yours putting that together so that you can be a success with one talk. The biggest mistake my students have made over 25 years is they believe that having their own workshop is the stage to start with. I'm going to say right here and right now, that is the final stage that you want to go on because there's no worse business than working your tail off to fill the room. No one comes, maybe a few people. You got to work for two days. You've humiliated yourself and you've lost money. It's worse than any restaurant business you could ever think of. That's the final stage you want to be a part. So these five stages, I want, to, I want you to think of the other four and then the additional one, the sixth one, which I do routinely um, about uh, 12 times a year and make a lot of money every single time I do it. And I also have the ability to sell from that stage as well. So I make money as part of that sixth stage, which I'll stop teasing you in a moment. And then I do speak to sell at the same time. And if I don't get them in either one of those ways, getting them meaning they don't come on board with me, then I bring them into my funnel, whether it's through mobile or through online marketing, and I warm them up until it's the right time. Here's one thing I want you to think about. You can take at least a month if you're starting to get 50 opt-ins on a video presentation online if you're starting from scratch. Like if you have no list, you're working with Facebook, Twitter, or social media, maybe you're begging and uh, attempting to get some traffic. It could take about a month to get 50 opt-ins. Now, if you're on a stage with 150 people, in one hour, you can get 50 opt-ins in less than an hour. Yeah. And those opt-ins are intimate opt-ins. They know you, they like you, they trust you, and they understand you as well as believe you. Otherwise, they wouldn't have done that. The key is to follow up with them, and that's where most people fall apart with that other aspect, which Pete can show you. So one hour on stage versus having people coming to an opt-in page with a video, the difference is not only night and day, it's seasonally different. It's winter versus summer. And that's the difference. Pete, back to you. Yeah, Alex. I mean, that's exactly right. And so a lot of people say, cool, Pete, that's great. You want to, you put me on stage. That's awesome. And you want to, um, so what does that mean? You want to, uh, uh, like, you want me to just go travel from stage to stage? And that's not it. We're missing one component because listen, it's one thing to be great on stage with your greatest marketing tool. It's another thing to get on stage. I'm learning from Alex real time. But the most important thing to me is that you scale the stages. And let's and, talk about scale because many people don't understand what scaling means. So tell them what that means. That's what it means. It means the stages are what are, are become the greatest customer acquisition channel that exists in your business. It means people going deeper with you in your products and services. That's what scaling a stage means to us. And so scale is actually defined as the products and services that go beyond the stage. Like we want people to go deeper with you because when they go deeper with you, it's when you make money and when you change their lives. And so that's what I want to just talk about for a few minutes is scaling the stage. Because if you catch this and you get the aha of this, then is where you're going to say, wow, Pete, I now see what you're talking about. And so I want to bring this up because we're going back and forth here. And I want to, you can see all of that just good. So this is what scale is. It's defined as going beyond the stage. It's defined as attracting new customers. And how do you scale the stage? First, you have to have a product suite, Alex. You have to have a product suite. I'm curious, um, if you have a product or service in your business right now, put the number one. And if you don't have a product or service in your business, put the number two in the chat box. And I want to see you engage because this is important. And so here's, here's, here's what people think about, Alex, when they think about speaking. They think, oh, I'm going to make $2,000 of a fee. And I'm going to sell $500 worth of books. And then I'm going to go travel town to town to town and really burn myself out. Alex, we know people like that. And they lose their health. They lose their life. They lose their spouses. They I mean, it's just crazy because it's what I call a road warrior. But what I want you to do is I want you to create a product suite, everybody, that has one of these eight areas. Imagine you on a stage of 100 people. 
I don't need you to think big. I just need you to think small. Because if you can think one stage of 100, which is not a difficult stage to get on, that's Pete. Pete's first stage was, you know, maybe around 80 to 100. What does scaling the stage look like? Well, it starts by making sure that you have an actual product or service that when you're on that stage of 100 people, that people can actually go deeper with you. And why do I have eight? I have eight because I've designed all of these eight in the past for my clients and I've sold them all for my clients. Our clients paid us high six figures and low seven figures to help them make sure that it wasn't just about the stage, but it was about making sure that people went deeper with them in the stage. And I did it not in the speak to sell world, in the educational world, in the corporate world, in the faith-based world. We were seeing stages in those worlds where six and seven figures from just being on stage of 100 people. So the first thing that you've got to do is have a product suite. And the second thing you've got to do is you've either got to collect names or order forms. Names or order forms. If you collect order forms, that means you're actually making an offer. That's probably a speak to sell stage or a sponsored stage or your own stage. But on the free and paid stage, Alex, you can't make an offer. So we're collecting names and we give away something for free. We give away a contact card. We collect their names. And then the last piece that we do is we convert those names. So if you're not, if you're selling that middle section, you're not collecting names, you're going straight from the stage, talking about your product suite and you're converting them right on the spot. Now, the reason why I've gotten so good, and I hope that this is an aha for everybody and even Alex, the reason why I feel like people are saying that I'm the best kept secret on this is because when you add that extra step, people are usually too lazy. They don't want to collect names and follow up with names and close them. That's where we were creating six and seven figure names with an extra step involved. And now our students are like, oh, you've already got it all dialed in. And I don't mind doing the extra step because you've done the hard work. You've done the hard work and you've already got the campaign set in place that allows people to then make a decision in the next seven to 14 days. It's just like we have this same campaign after every stage we're on where we can't sell. This is the same paid campaign we do every single time, Alex. Let, let, me, um, let me interrupt you because that is an aha. People who look at this are asking themselves, how much money can I make from this? I'm sure there's a, a fraction of the people saying that, maybe the majority. I don't want you to think that way. I want you to think about how much money and time Pete has sacrificed, not wasted, yeah. sacrificed to get to this thing. You look at it, you go, oh, well, it looks interesting. No, this is years and years, hundreds of thousands of dollars and probably tens of thousands of hours until you get to this. You would never get here. Even if you took this, stole it and tried to apply it, the map is not the territory. You have a map, you get dumped into the territory. You say, hey, wait a minute. I didn't know that tree was there. Well, Wait a minute, what's that snake doing there? What, what's that tarantula doing, you know, crawling on the ground? So the map is never the territory. You're looking at a roadmap. You still need a way to be trained to run through the immediate day one, day two, et cetera. So think of how much money has been sacrificed and you don't have to do that. That's called the cost of sacrifice, <laughs> cost yeah. of COS, man. And this is a lot of money along the way, so you don't have to do it. People underestimate how much power is here because they don't have to make the same mistakes. They look at, okay, how much money am I gonna make? No. How much money am I gonna no longer lose testing and guessing and wondering whether or not if what I'm doing is accurate? Yeah, I love it. I love it. And so scaling a stage looks exactly like that. It's like you do these three things. Sometimes you don't have to collect names and you go straight to the conversion. And so Chandler Bolt, an online marketer, is like, I don't know if I want to do stages, Pete. Like, you really think it can make a difference for me? I said, let's give it a test. So Chandler, instead of being that person who got paid $2,000, Chandler said, oh, I got this little stage in my backyard, 27 chiropractors. And Chandler's like, I'm going to go speak. I'm going to, I'm going to use how you taught me to design my signature talk. And he went and spoke to 27 chiropractors. 
and he got nine new customers. And he said, if I can drive 15 minutes to go speak to 27 chiropractors and get nine new customers, and I can drive home, what happens if I go and speak to 270 chiropractors or hundreds of them? Well, he just did. And it's amazing to see what happens. And so this is what I want people to see. This is what scaling a stage means to us. Sometimes you get to take out that middle section and sometimes you don't. But if you're on one small stage and you do a good job, our data says that you're going to get 80% of those people to give you their information when you can't sell. And conservatively, you do a good job of following up with them, you'll get eight new clients. And sometimes you get to eliminate the middle section altogether, but this is the power of stages. And, you know, the question is, like, what's the value of eight new customers? I know what it is to me initially in lifetime value, but it's so powerful. And so you got a guy here who's, like, got hungry he got hungry after that. And this year he booked 20 stages and those 20 stages brought in $800,000 in revenues. Do the math on that. That's $40,000 a stage. And it's his first year. And he said, I'm just getting started. Or someone who had experience on their own stages, but hadn't been on other people's stages. And she's like, Pete, I got my first stage. I've got 15 minutes. I know I can't do much with that. I'm like, oh yeah, we can. And so we put together her talk. We made, she couldn't make an offer. We made sure she had an irresistible, great gift to give away. She collected 90% of those people's information. And in the follow-up campaign, she did $200,000. And that was this year. Now this is one of my favorite right here because this is that veteran, like so many of us, that veteran, Hal Elrod, he wrote the book, Miracle Morning. He's a student of ours. And Hal was demanding big keynote fees. And he just sold books. Like he's one of those guys that his book just sells. And Hal was like, I was like, what do you have? What product do you have to scale a stage? He's like, I don't really have one, but I've been talking about doing a course for five years. And I said, Hal, I want you to use our system to get this course in one day, done in one day. And he did. And for the last six months, he's seen hundreds of courses sell. This is a guy who did not have a way to scale a stage. And so that's the power of scaling a stage. Because when you know how to scale a stage, Alex, like when you know how to scale a stage, what begins to happen is it becomes game changer for your business. You see, when I was in this, when I started this whole thing three years ago, I didn't quite listen to Alex's advice because I did this for other people for 15 years. I was the wizard of Oz doing this for other people for 15 years. And I knew stages worked, but I tried to be the guy to go do a product launch and go do a blog and go put a bunch of content out there and spend tens of thousands of dollars on ways that we're going to build my business. And Alex and a few other friends are like, no, don't do it that way. But I just got caught up in the internet marketing. And so in 2016, I said, screw this. This isn't working. I said, this isn't working. And so what did I do in 2016? I went and was on my first uh, digital stage, Alex. And my first digital stage, I only had 40 people in there and I did $10,000. And then I was on my first physical stage. I was there three years ago, my first physical stage. And I did like $15,000. I was like, wow, I actually made money and not lose money. And then last year, I was on two physical stages that did six figures and two digital stages that did high five figures. And so my stage game just continued to get better. But this year, this is what's beautiful. I'm bringing this circle, full circle, full circle here. I use the same system that we've been using for 15 years to win Debbie Phelps' stage as I did Michael Phelps. And not Michael Phelps' stage, Michael Phelps was the opening keynote. And everybody's like, wow, Michael's making 150 and Howie's probably making 150. And this guy, this Mexican in the middle is making $10,000. But they don't know that I understand a thing or two about scaling the stage. So Alex, we didn't just collect 80 or 90% of the room's contact information. Those 80 or 90% of the room's contact information we collected, over 100 of them purchased our $9,800 workshop. It was a million dollar stage and it will become a multiple seven figure stage because they've invited us back to speak again this year again. And so what I want people to realize is that's what scaling the stage means to me. That's what it means. Any type of stage we're on, we understand how it can be the biggest customer acquisition channel for you. And it's powerful because the other thing this year, we, we, we continue to grow our stage presence and our stage game. 
And so that's the third piece to this whole thing is how do you scale a stage on every stage you're on and make it the number one way that you attract new customers? Well, one way I got on stage is what I'm calling the sixth stage. I got the idea when I was on this sixth stage recently. I've been doing it eight times this year for someone else. And I've been doing it five times this year for the world's largest seminar company. And the sixth stage, you know about the five other ones, but the sixth stage is becoming the MC or the host. Yeah. Now I've been MCing and hosting on physical stages since 2002. I've done it for people who run masterminds like Joe Polish, mutual friend of ours. He runs Genius Network now and Genius X, which is a $100,000 mastermind. I've done it for Agora Publishing, one of the largest publishing companies in the world. I did it every year. I did, I've done it for Mark Victor Hansen. I've been doing it <coughs> this year for Jack Canfield for One Day to Greatness. I've done it for um, one day events and I've done it for five day events. And the reason why an MC or a host is so powerful is because you're not the sage from the stage. You don't have that one hour launch. You're getting all the exposure. You're the guide from the side. You're getting paid and you are borrowing the status and the social credibility of the speaker or speakers who are on stage with you. Now, it's an hour since we've been here. And I think there's a portion of you who are ready to say yes. And for 12 of you, it's good enough for the months in one year. It's good enough for the apostles. Actually, there were 13, but you know, we won't count that. But 12 is a, is a, is a nice number. And so I can afford the time and energy for 12 to give a fast action bonus. Now, I believe that high achievers make decisions early and make them often. Mm -hmm. And because you have a 30 day money back guarantee, you really have nothing to risk and there is a financing plan. Now, before I give you the link where to go, this is the first wave of you. The rest of you can stay here because I want to talk about the common errors that speakers make, ones I've made, and then how to guarantee a standing ovation every single time. That's kind of fun, right? I'll give yeah. you those in just a moment. But um, how to become a big money MC is a four module training. It is available 30 days after you invest in the one hour launch and advancing your reach with Pete Vargas. There's a single investment and there is a pay as you go investment. So 30 days afterwards, because that's the money back guarantee period, then you and I will be launching into a four module program, which I'm going to sell for nearly a thousand dollars. I'm going to offer it for free because you're going to be my case study group and I will highlight you and possibly get you some gigs because I say no to a lot of MC stages. Now, I'll go to people like uh, Ivan Meisner, who founded um, uh, Business Network International, or, or Jack Canfield, who gets paid $60,000 for a fee. And I say, hey, let me be your plan B. You trust me. We've known each other. I've emceed for you. If you don't want a stage because uh, they're paying $15,000 for the stage for a one-hour speech, I'll take it. And so that's another way that you can get on stage as being plan B for someone you know who gets paid more and, and you can pay them a percentage, like 20 or 25%, even 50%. Now, where to go in order for this to be possible in this, I'm holding a card in my hand. If you're listening, it's a four module training and it will happen 30 to 45 days. It'll begin 30 to 45 days after you say yes. It's called a fast action bonus. It's available for 12. Six have already said yes, that I know of, maybe more. So there's six more to go, right? And even if you don't get it, it's not the end of the world because it's a bonus that I'm only offering. Pete has many bonuses, as you'll see. You go to marketingonline.com forward slash go speak. I, I wanted to pick a really good forward slash marketingonline.com forward slash go speak. Now there's a 35 minute video of Pete. I think you know him by now. You've watched for about an hour. You probably have seen him. Uh, throughout the week or the past few days. You don't have to watch the video. Just go scroll down, say yes, and do whatever it takes. I will personally call you, as I have with other people who've said yes, and welcome you because that's a stage as well. I won't just email you. You'll get a confirmation by email and all the other stuff you would get, but I will call you and welcome you because that stage is called 
sticking with your decision. So my hope is you say yes, and I hope you're the right person to say yes. You got to make it a priority. Otherwise, you're wasting your time. You're wasting Pete's time, and you're going to play the blaming game. I don't want that. I want you to be committed to make stages your number one growth strategy as it, it's become mine. I never knew it was my number one growth strategy. I never realized it, but it is. I thought it was digital marketing. It's not. Autoresponders don't make me money. Emails don't make me money. Websites don't make me money. Virtual and physical stages make me money. And I promise you something else. And whether you're going to say yes or no, I want to give you this because I promised you I promised it within four, uh, within the first 45 minutes and we've gone over. So I apologize for that, but I didn't know uh, Pete would have such uh, content worthy of your devotion. These are the 23 persuasive selling sentences. You just say these word for word and you can get them without an opt-in. Go to marketingonline.com forward slash stage guide. That's my stage guide. Go to marketingonline.com forward slash stage guide. And that is additional ethical bribery to guilt you, I mean, uh, to in inspire you <laughs> to say yes to Pete, all right? So Pete, back to you. I'm gonna talk about three errors that speakers make and um, four tips on how to get a standing ovation every single time. But I wanna go back to you if you have something to say. Yeah, I'll just kind of give a quick, like a three minute overview on what they're gonna be getting and how we're gonna be helping them make 2019 the best year ever. So Please. that way they can not have to read everything on that page, but they can really take action and so, yes, we're really excited. This is closing down on Friday night. Alex has just been a no brainer for a lot of you in terms of what you are going to get for um, which I'm, I'm blown away by. So that's that's exciting. So just really quickly, this is the stage to scale method. We believe it's the fastest way to grow your business. And we're going to break it down over the next eight weeks into five core sections. We're not just going to get you started off on the right track and making sure that you have clarity on who you serve. And, and the problem that you solve, we're gonna then dive really quickly, Alex, into helping them build their signature talk. Like we in weeks two and weeks three are gonna have your talk so dialed in that you will be able to use it in every situation, anytime outside of probably, you know, maybe, maybe not emceeing because you're there serving the person, but emceeing is so powerful and I wanna buy just for that bonus. And so we're going to help you get your talk built in a couple of weeks in the same way that we did with these people right here. And then the cool thing is we're actually going to help you either get your first product created or make sure that you have your product created. So you're scaling stages like all of this is going to be built in weeks four and five with you through this curriculum. It's going to roll out to you. All of this is going to be built out and you're going to be scaling stages in the same way these people are scaling stages, including Frank Shamrock, who's a five-time UFC champion who had experience on stages. And he's like, man, Pete, I never knew this stuff existed. And then really the most important piece that we're going to be doing is making sure that we use our system to get you on stages. Like we're gonna get you on stages through our system. We're gonna make sure you have the perfect portfolio. And this campaign that Alex is paying $10,000 to come out and be a part of, that we're gonna be doing with them in person, we'll be doing that digitally through our curriculum with you and getting it built out start to finish. Don't, not, I don't care if you're brand new, or you've been on a few stages, or you've been on a lot of stages, we are going to help you see get success. So. And then we're graduating, man. We have a graduation ceremony. We celebrate and we make sure that we help my entire team. You no longer have two hands. Alex said 10, but the reality is you have dozens of hands of people that are on my team that are going to help you graduate. And so it's a, it is a, it's a $29.97 value. Um, it's it's going to be rolled out over the next eight weeks. And then you have lifetime access to it and you're getting rolling today. You're ready to go. And to top off Alex's bonuses, I want to make sure that we help you understand that not only are we going to provide coaching, that Alex was actually at my event where we sold this coaching for $10,000. Every week, we're going to be coaching around the module that just got rolled out. So we're going to be coaching you and putting our hands on you and making sure we're putting you on the hot seats and making sure that you are able to apply what you're learning immediately because with implementation is what's going to change things for you. 
But the other thing that we're going to do is Alex actually came to this. So did Pat Flynn. Pat Flynn said, you'd be crazy not to go to Pete's live event. And Pat Flynn paid a couple of thousand dollars to be at this event. And so we're going to get you graduated and we're going to send you off like our little disciples to go do this for a few months. And for those of you that can come, great. You're going to be here at Reach Live. And if you can't, we'll make sure that you get the recordings, but it's going to be a powerful event. And then the last thing that I think is so unbelievable is you're going to get a scale up training. Like every one of you fall into one of these three buckets. And if you fall into a bucket above that, not sure why you're on today, but I love you. But either you're in the zero to six category in revenues, the six to seven figure category, or the seven to eight. And I've taken many clients through all three of these phases using stages. And I know the three or four things that look different in each bucket that you need to be focused on. And you go start where you're at today and you double down on those things because what happens for the zero to six person is completely different than what's happened for the person who's trying to move from seven to eight figures. You know, and so Alex knows some of our clients and we're helping them build speaking teams. That's later on, but that's not at the beginning. And so Alex, we're doing all of that. We're throwing all of that in. Um, it's going to be amazing. It's a, you know, total value of $15,000. And we've actually charged all of that for all of that stuff. And we're doing it, as you know, at marketingonline.com forward slash go speak uh, for 1997. And so that's what we're doing. I'm really, really excited about it, man. And I'm super grateful for your support today because people are going to be able to make 2019 um, a phenomenal year. And we still got like 90% of the people here who started with us, man. So it's exciting. Well, unlike buying a home, let's say you have a 5,000 square foot home and in California, it's a little bit more expensive as it is in New York and other parts uh, of the country. But if you have a, a very big home and you, let's say you have five bedrooms, it's not uncommon to have, let's say, a, a four or $5,000 a month mortgage. Well, guess what? You're paying that month after month after month after month. If you've wanted, let's say, a Tesla automobile, which goes from zero to 60 miles an hour in less than two seconds, that's called the launch. <laughs> that's, that's their launch. They, you put the pedal to, to, the very, to the ground, you let release the brake, and then your head goes back and you pull about three Gs in the car, and that's how they sell it to you, right? Well, that Tesla will cost somewhere around $1,500 a month. Now, you have to pay that for the car and for the dream house, month after month after month. If you get one stage, not one of your workshops, but if you get one stage a month and conservatively do 50% of what Pete has talked about right now, because it could be tonight, this morning, or this afternoon, I don't know where you're watching from, then not only have you paid for that dream home for the month or and that Tesla, but you got a lot of, money left aside to put in the bank account or to help pay for kids' education if you have any. Mine's going to college and you just happen to choose one of the most expensive ones that anyone could ever choose in the country. So I hope he gets a scholarship. But think about it. The cost of ongoing living expenses goes on and on. You invest once in the one hour launch and what it gives you is the ability, a minimum of getting one stage a month, maybe not the first month, but whenever that is, you can have the dream home and pay for those payments and the dream car, whatever that may be. I like BMW personally. And you will still have money aside and still make the money that you make in whatever it is that you're doing. Because one hour in a week that is 168 hours is not much, but that hour yields the most revenue to pay for all the toys and fun and tithing and gifts that you could possibly think of. So think of it in that perspective. Now, there are errors that people make. Now, three common errors that speakers make with their stages, okay? Here's number one. Here's an error I made. They don't make and they don't speak and use the stage as a growth strategy, right? They don't use speaking on stage as a growth strategy. Once you, if you think of it as a growth strategy for your business versus one episodic um, exposure where your personality versus an ongoing monthly thing is profit, it changes your entire perspective, right? Look, you can even, you can work for someone else 
or you can work for someone else in order to aspire to ascend to become the CEO of the company. So I'm hoping you're the CEO of your household and your life. The second big mistake is they don't as aspire to uh, get on more than one type of stage. Another mistake I made, I've been on the sixth stage, which Pete didn't talk about, mm -hmm. and I've been on um, the speak the sell stage, which I'm most comfortable with, and I think is the most terrifying thing for most people. I just went skydiving for the first time with um, my son and my partner and my son's girlfriend, and uh, it can be terrifying if you're afraid that something bad is gonna happen. I wasn't terrified because I figured if the shoot doesn't open, well, it's not gonna last very long. If the shoot opens, then that's gonna be glorious. The shoot open, that's why I'm here. The stage is no different, man. The shoot opens every single time. You don't need a parachute to skydive. You need a parachute to skydive more than once, right? So this is what Pete does. He's packing your parachute because he gives you the way. The third uh, mistake is they don't aim for the sixth stage. And the reason the sixth stage is so important as a host or an MC, and I know, I know I'm just, I know I'm judging, but I don't think you get it. When you're a host or an MC, you will get on other stages from the people speaking on that stage, from the event organizer who put on that stage, if you know how to become an MC, and I can show you in four modules in less than five hours of your life, okay? Wow. Now, what about a standing ovation? Isn't that a cool thing to get one? Here are four tips to get a standing ovation, and these are hard line concrete tips okay how to get a standing ovation every time here's how i do it number one i create a movie introduction and at the end the movie says please stand up and give a round of applause for alex mondosian well when everyone is standing up i mean you won't stand up because no one's watching you right you're all in separate places right but when you're in a crowd through social pressure and hurting pressure, right? H-E-R-D-I-N-G, everyone stands up. You got a standing ovation. How does that make you feel before you speak? How about this one? Ask the MC or the host to ask the audience to stand up for a standing ovation. So I even practice. There's some people that I've introduced where I tell them this, that the guy's backstage or the gal, and I say, look, this speaker is going to come up. And um, when he comes up, don't embarrass me. Give him a standing ovation. Can you do that? Yes. Let's practice. So they stand up. And I have them sit down. I go, nope, that was an eight and a half. Give me a 10. They stand up. They give me a 10. They want to do it. Plus, it raises the energy of the room. Then I tell them, look, he's going to go like this. That means sit down. When, he, when you see this, I want you to get louder. He's going to flip out. And then when he says this again, like sit down, I'm ready to talk. I want you to get even louder. And then the third time when they go like this, then sit down. And he'll wonder, oh, holy cow, what happened? I've done that to so many speakers. They just think it's magical. The third way to get a standing ovation is to conduct a standing experience. Like when you're doing an experiential training and you put them in dyads or triads, you know, groups of three, have them stand and then tell them to give themselves a round of applause and pretend it's for you. That's a standing ovation, right? And then finally, just learn to inspire and influence your audience to give you a standing ovation. That's the toughest of the four. And that's where most people chase after. You don't have to do that. So I wanted to give you those tips because if you haven't been inspired or influenced to go to marketingonline.com forward slash go speak. And by the way, that is my joint venture link. Why am I going to get paid partially for your investment so I can afford to put together the four modules for your MC marketing secrets course? All right. That costs money. Okay. There are assets and materials I got to give away. So I'm taking a portion of the money I make from my joint venture proceeds and I'm putting it into that. That's called sacrificing short-term profit for long-term wealth. And plus I call Pete my friend as long as I'm breathing. So that's all I have to say. I love it, Alex. I'm excited, man. I, I see some folks coming in and obviously for the first 12, we're going to we're going to be, you know, making sure that you know who those first 12 are, because I think that's just an incredible bonus that you're giving away. So looks like uh, looks like we've got Narik and it looks like we looks like Narik and Nancy. So this could be on Facebook, too. But congratulations, Narik and Nancy. Excited to have both of y'all. And I know there's a few more that I'm not sure that have happened already. So, Alex, I don't know if we want to take some questions or you want to end or you 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 uh, let me know, man. I'll tell you what um, I, I'd like to. I'd like to take some questions. And what I want you to do is many people in a Q&A setting believe that the answer is the most important thing. I don't believe that. I think the question 
a clear, a clear and a, um, a, a, a crystal clear question is the most important thing. That's the way it can be answered. So it could be about the offer, which is the investment and the training. It could be about your fears. It could be about your skills. It could be where you are right now. Get as vulnerable as you can, right? It could be about the time that you have. How much time will this take? It could be about wondering, hey, how long does it take for someone who knows nothing and has never done it to become successful? Whatever it is that you may be grappling with right now in, in the inner game, you know, the little voice, you know, I call it the shovel that hits the forehead. This is a prop. You know, I keep this on stage because right now this is not reality. Reality is after we shut this down, you say yes or you say no. And you've made your decision. Those who said yes, they go in one trajectory. Those who say no, they go on the trajectory they got. Yeah. Now, if not this, then what else do you have? And if not now, then when are you going to do it? Yeah. Right. And if not with Pete, who are you going to do it with? Because you'll be doing it with me as well. I'm going to go through this process. That's why I'm going to call not only the first 12, I will call everyone to welcome them. But the first 12, I can afford my time and energy and coaching time with my team to teach them the MC, big stage MC secrets. And it's after the refund period. Why? Because we don't want you to just buy for that and have me deliver. It's a lot of money and time on my part. Um, we want you to stick with it and actually do the work. So questions, a question that you have that is crystal clear and to the point, and this is your stage. This is a virtual stage. If you have a question, this is your first opportunity to make an impact on everyone else watching. Let's see here. You see anything coming up, Dee? Oh, I got it. I have a question that was asked of me today, Pete, while yeah. we wait. Okay. Because this is called the uh, virtual stage fright. So um, one question is, okay. Um, I've never been on a stage before. I don't think of myself as a speaker. Um, based on your experience, where could I start? So I don't make a fool of myself. So I've never spoken on stage before. Where can I start? So I cannot make a fool of myself. Well, I'm, this is going to sound self-serving, but we love to play low stakes and get practice on low stakes. So it might be a smaller podcast or one of the things that we ha saw happen this week, and I was just paying attention to it. We had hundreds of people submit their first three minute talk to us. And actually, um, we're giving one of them away uh, one of our workshops. And so we love to be able to allow people to start with low stakes. Um, and typically, and if you're going to go after a stage, start with an online stage. And, and start there, maybe on a smaller one. Don't go after the big, like big one, but start with the smaller one. And so that's a great place to start, Alex. What's a three minute talk? Because uh, those watching may not know what that is. And that's a super cool thing I've seen on your stage. Yeah, so it's like basically you, you, you tell your story and the one big idea that you are taking into this world in three minutes. And when you can do that powerfully, you can do it in 30, 60, 90, whatever you need. So we get people really, really clear on that three minute because then it can evolve into the 15 and the 30 and the 60. But we help them get really big idea around story and one big idea in the middle, one big idea and, 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 and coupled on the front end and back end with story. So when people can get that, it's really, really game changing. Okay, and, and uh, I'm an experienced speaker. I've been on many, many stages. Why is this investment? Because I got to take the time to study. That's my biggest cost is the time. How is this going to impact me to scale my business more than I'm doing right now? Yeah. So a lot of people right now are using things that, that the sales cycles, three, six, nine, 12, 15 months. You're using a lot of mediums that are really busy and noisy. I know that because I tried it. And what happens is, yeah, two or three hours a week of investment of your time for the next eight weeks. And I believe in June, when we're out here at my live event in May, um, in May, you'll be like, oh my gosh, this expedited the sales cycle. I'm attracting more customers than I ever have before. And it's become one of the top ways that I use to, to, to you know, get on stages. And so, so I just think that, Alex, that's it. I mean, I've seen it all out there. It's been the number one driver for you. It's been the number one driver for me. And I just feel like people begin to do this and it will be, extremely game changer for them in, in, in 2019. 
We so. have a we have a question from Leon. I'll get to it in a moment. But here's another one. I'm a tech dummy, and all this follow up stuff. Does it involve technology that I have to learn? No, we have an analog approach and an automated automation approach. And the analog approach is for the people who are tech challenged like me. And then if there are some people who enjoy tech, we talk about some of the things we do. But we try we we keep it really simple, really really simple inside the course. Okay, very good question. Involves a lot of the population. Will this work for someone who doesn't have anything to sell and is fully employed? And I'm going to rephrase that as well. Will this work for someone who doesn't have anything to sell because I'm fully <laughs> employed, right? So to me, that means structurally unemployed. You never know when that's going to end. But will this work for those people? And I want you to be, I know you're always genuine, but many people are watching for the first time. What do you say to someone fully employed that barely has enough time to prepare food, has a family and kids, et cetera? Yeah, so it feels like that's a lot like Karen. I mean, she was fully employed working at, you know, Microsoft. And, um, you know, what we're going to, what we'll do, what we focus on with those people is making sure that we begin to get their, their business built, like their talk built their first product built. And here's the thing, a lot of people who come and build products and services take months and years to do. And so the beautiful thing about this curriculum is it's gonna be the path to least resistance. What's gonna have the highest impact with the lowest leveraged amount of time that you have to invest into that. For somebody who's fully employed, one of the things that we're gonna be able to do um, is help them understand how to get that, that product created, to get that talk dialed in, so as they start 2019, they might begin their side hustle. I started this whole thing in 2003 as a side hustle. I was fully employed. A man made an impact in my life. I made a couple of hours of a commitment a day. In this case, you only have to make a couple of hours of commitment a week. And what's going to happen, Leon, is that you'll be sitting in 2019 beginning to generate some income. There's obviously something there that you want to take to the world. And so let us help you do that so you can actually do it and become fully entrepreneur. So, Well, Wagner from Facebook Live asks, uh, how can I better identify my products to start, get this Pete, the six stages. It's already stuck already, man. Already Thank stuck. you, Wagner. You're, you're someone of my heart. Go for it, Pete. What would you say? Yeah, so we got to figure out who you serve first, Wagner. We got to figure out, figure out who you serve. And then once we figure out who you serve, we're going to figure out the, the product or service. Here's the thing. Not every, this is not cookie cutter. It's not like, Hey, everybody's doing this or everybody's doing that. That's the problem with a lot of stuff out there that like courses or anything out there, like, you know, like write a book or, you know, do a podcast or it's like forcing you into one, one angle. And the beautiful thing is we have eight different products and services that you can create. And we're going to figure out in, in, in weeks four and five, what is the perfect fit of what aligns with you, not what aligns with me? You know, everybody told me I should go do coaching and one-on-one -on -one coaching. I didn't love one-on-one -on -one coaching. I love workshops. I listen to everybody else. We now do want workshops. And so first thing is, Wagner, we're going to get really clear on what product you want to take, who you want to serve. So therefore, when we go start putting you on the six stages with our campaign, you'll be able to take that product out there and four weeks, five weeks from now, you'll have that all dialed in, Wagner. Um, this is something you can write down because I know this with absolute certainty, whether you believe in it or not. First who, then what, and then how. First who is who's the market or the niche or the audience you're speaking to because you don't speak to a grandparent the same way you speak to a parent or a child or a teacher or a boss. They're, they have different messages they have to be spoken to. Number two, What's the message? That's your signature speech. What, what is the message that you're going to serve them? Obviously, um, a different who, and it's not a Dr. Seuss book, by the way, a different who is going to get a different what, which is the message. And then the how are one of the five or six stages, and that's the medium that you're using. And then there's the virtual stages as well. So if you identify who first, the biggest mistake people make is they start with what? They start with the signature speech when they haven't targeted the outcome, which is the, the audience. And when they talk to the audience after working on their signature speech without peace assistance, 
and they see a bunch of eyebrows going up, they see glazed eyes, and they've missed the mark. It's not relevant, it's not credible, it's not urgent, and it's certainly not compelling. It's because they've not only gone in the wrong direction, they've gone in the wrong direction enthusiastically because they never had the GPS like Uber pointing to the audience first. It always wants your destination first, right? Yeah. Because that's where you're going. So first who, then what, and then how. And the who can be the most difficult thing, but that's why Pete is here. That's worth the investment alone, is if you just identify who, the what and the how becomes very, very simple. That's my experience. What's yeah. yours, Pete? Yeah, I love it. And so, Sonia, I want to welcome you as well uh, to, uh, to the program. And so what's going to happen, which is perfect timing for this, is as you get registered, our first module doesn't, doesn't really begin till next week. But this week, what we do is we figure out who you serve first and the problem you want to solve for them, meaning your expertise. And so that's a clarity training that begins this week. It's really literally the first thing that we do because when we can get those things figured out, all of the rest of the stuff becomes easy. The how, the stages, the product suite, all of that stuff becomes easy, but we want to get you clarity around the who and the what. And that's the first thing that actually rolls out. And Alex didn't know that. And so that's full alignment of what needs to happen. So then we can expedite the process starting next week for all of you. And so that to me is it. And Alex just said it and it's the very first training and you should see our private Facebook group. They're like, oh my gosh, I've got clarity. And this is already with the clarity training, the price of the investment alone. Not to say anything else that we've talked about or the bonuses that Alex has thrown in. So, Well, there, I know uh, uh, prior to the webinar, we have John, we have AJ and we have Michelle all the way from Australia in Brisbane. So I know we have at least three more. I don't know how close we are to the 12, but welcome aboard. You'll all be getting calls. Um, if you're overseas, you'll be getting a WhatsApp from me <laughs> if I can get it. Otherwise I'll call you out with my mobile. It doesn't matter to me, but it's super important that you understand that this is real and just a call, just a call, um, making it real from virtual. Cause this is not real. This is virtual. Like you can't, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to you and you and you and you, many, many people, but one-to-one -one and you get a call out, you know how meaningful this is. Now, here's the thing. If you have no idea how to do it, you're a complete newbie and uh, you, you're wondering, is this the thing? You know, you've tried a lot and this is the thing. All right. Well, if you were an opportunity seeker, then what I want you to be is a seeker. Get rid of the word opportunity. No more bright, shiny objects. Let Pete do it. Here's the thing. If Pete can evangelize you and convert you, give you an identity shift, finally, to be successful, why do you think he's going to do that for so little money? Hmm. For one half of the cost of a mortgage. And that's just for one month. Why is he doing that? Because you become his bragging rights for the future for someone else who was exactly in your position in the future. And you could be one of the speakers on stage talking about this and serve Pete as well. He is yeah. building not only personalities on stage, which I'm not a big fan of, he's building profit seekers. So forget opportunity seeking, those days are done. This is profit seeking. And bottom line, there's two regrets. I'm, this is what I'm told by hospice workers, you know, people in their 80s and 90s. There's two major regrets. There's more than that, but there's two major ones. Number one, I wish I didn't do that. Mm -hmm. Like stuff like I wish I didn't tell my son what I told him. I wish I didn't tell my former wife what I told her or my dad or whatever. You know, that's a big regret, right? Well, there's no regret with the one hour launch because you have 30 days to change your mind and that's a long time. If someone at home who really loves you says, what did you do? And they don't understand. Well, I hope you would bring them into the conversation so that get them on the phone with me, right? I know what to say, that's my stage. That's the seventh stage, getting the spouse or the loved one <laughs> enrolled in the process, right? So that's the thing that you regret, you know, you did and there's no regret there, that doesn't apply here. The second regret is the biggest of all. And this is the one that is one of suffering. And this is what's told to hospice workers by the elderly. And I mean, you know, on, on the foot of death. And that's what they didn't do. Hmm. I wish I would have taken that risk. I wish I would have done the bungee jumping. I wish I would have done the one hour launch 40 yeah. years ago, right? <laughs>
I wish, I wish, I wish. Well, guess what? Your wish can come true, but you got to take the first step with a mouse or a mouse pad <laughs> and let the word of mouse get around. So take the first step and make sure that you go to the right page. That way I can serve you, if, especially if you're one of the first 12, marketingonline.com forward slash go speak. And that's what I'm going to say. Like if you're in this deal, and many of you are, I'm just going to say, you say, what do I do? I'm going to say, go speak. Mm -hmm. Sloppy success is better than perfect mediocrity. Go speak. You yeah. can speak for free. I have friends who spoke for free, 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 free. I have a good friend. He speaks for $60,000 uh, for one hour speech. He started at 25 bucks an hour, 25 bucks an hour. Wow. And he celebrated when he, because that was the first time he got paid. He turned pro. The moment you go from free to fee is the moment you go from amateur to professional and it is a massive shift. So I'm done. It's decision-making time. If you haven't done it by now, you're not going to do it. So that's how I'll leave it, Pete. I'll give you the last right. word. Well, Daniel's just saying like, welcome Carol, Rhonda, Diana. Is this right, Daniel? Jonathan, Addie, Michelle, Narek. Just want to welcome y'all. Welcome. And I'm excited. And what I want you to know is that this is closing down. Everybody's like, oh, is that false scarcity? No, it's not false scarcity. I learned something from one of our common friends and his name is Stu McLaren. And Stu McLaren said, Pete, you create the circle of awesomeness for your students. You shut that baby down. You tell your team to go out of, leave sales mode and recruitment mode and you go into fulfillment mode and you go create raving fans because of the results and the successes that you got them. And that's what happens on Monday morning. That's right. The train takes off on time. And if you didn't make the train, then you don't get on the train for now. And no. it takes off and you don't even get, you don't get to catch up to the caboose. And no. that is for real. It's end of story done. Yeah. So just want you all to know that like I'm excited. Like there's not a false scarcity to Friday night. Friday night's the deadline because the train is departing Monday morning. And we're so excited about this. And Alex, I just want to thank you for everything that you've done to uh, set this up, man. And I'm going to go eat a little dinner. And I know that we provided a lot of value tonight, man. So I'm super grateful for your friendship, man. Okay. Well, it's decision-making time. Yes is a decision and no is a decision. Maybe is not a decision. That's suffering, right? So go for it and make your decision. Pete, thank you. Thanks, Alex. Talk All to right. everybody soon. So long.